to give you guys just a tiny bit of an update tonight me and my girlfriend are going to toronto and we're going to a little nightclub downtown toronto i'm gonna shake a little booty and have an awesome time seriously though i'm so fucking pumped and what makes me feel so good i'm sorry i'm so shaky right now i'm kind of just like Mah. but I don't know if I've mentioned this in any videos before, but um, I really need to get my car fixed. I really need to get two front wheel bearings because they're a little loose right now and I'm really starting to feel them. And I just drove about six hours in total um, within the last couple of days going back and forth somewhere. So <sighs> I last night was praying, 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 praying that we and my girlfriend would get there very safe tonight nice and safe and tonight I decided to come into work for three hours and see her make a little moolah you know and I was seeing so many angel numbers and so was she and it was so amazing because some of them were like your prayers and positive affirmation and your pure faith and optimism you know they create miracles and I truly think that every single thing is a miracle you know not just when something huge happens that like no I think that every single thing is a miracle because everything is a gift and everything is a blessing and I'm just so thankful to have that reassurance for my angels around me and just letting me know that my prayers are heard and you know for some of you who don't believe in that stuff fine but don't come on my channel shitting on that because that is something I believe in so much so strongly and it's just part of my life it is such a huge part of my life so if that's not something you believe in then that's totally cool but hey just understand a lot of different people have a lot of different beliefs and views and that's just mine so no reason to have, you know, negativity on my page about that if you do feel that way, you know, if you're like, oh, that's bullshit, blah, blah, blah. You know, that's just the way that I choose to live my life, just like the way you choose to live your life. I will take you guys along with me a little bit, um, you know, a tiny bit because in there, literally, the sound system is so friggin' insane that, like, it just sounds like crap on my phone usually. But I will show you what I'm wearing tonight. Super cute. Super cute. Seriously. I'm so excited. It's this body shoot, body shoot. <laughs> it's this body suit and it's like mesh. Oh, okay. And it's like mesh and, um, and black. And I've worn it to an event before and like it shows my nips. So like I wear little, like I'm wearing these little like heart stickers over them. It's going to be so cute. And then I'm just going to wrap like, you know, sweater around my waist and have my little kicks and I'm good to go. Going to be taking it really easy because this is the first show that I've been to since my ankle. <laughs> So got to be really careful tonight. My friend was like, wrap that up and I have to, you know, pay attention to that. Be like, that is the little angel, you know, coming my way and sharing that and being like, girl, we got to, you know, keep you on track, keep you on the healing process and not, you know, take a couple steps back if it's not necessary and can be avoided. So I'm going to go get a wrap tonight, wrap my foot up. I was honestly like, oh my God, I think I'm going to have to buy new shoes because like it's going to be like an elephant foot in like a little shoe. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, so I'll catch you guys later. And now for tonight's outfit. So first move this fucking chair out of the way because what the heck, like, bye. So I ended up not even wearing this little black scarf I wrapped around my waist, but this little black bodysuit and these little fishnets are what I wore when I went out on the town with my girlfriend. So yeah, it was really cute. Didn't want to free the nip online because I really don't know if YouTube allows that, but honestly, I was shaking my shit around like a little happy fairy and I was just loving my life, so yeah, I hope you guys had a wonderful night. I know I did. My neck is now broken and my booty and hips hurt, but hey, worth it. And then just before I left, I did just some stretching and stuff like that. Gave my ankle lots of love because as many as you know, I'm still healing and I wanted tonight to go really smoothly. Ended up slipping on some water and fucking it up again. But hey, now it's all right because I was like, thank you, thank you, thank you with every step and some miracle happens and my foot is just fine again. So yeah, I just wanted to stretch out my body because I'm not even going, oh, I got a pocket, got a pocket full of sunshine. I got a lip and a nook for the summer. Who? Okay, back to what I was saying. Um, I don't really know what I was saying there. But I do know that, yeah, I was giving it tons of love because I just wanted it to be nice and like um, my muscles relaxed, not tightened, anything like that. So these are just a little clip of what I did. I definitely did some deeper stretches and um, it lasted quite a bit longer. But yeah, I just really wanted the healing process not to have any bumps or whatever. But hey, if it happens, it happens. But it didn't. So yay! And yeah, that's about it for the stretching session with Jazz. Oh, I can touch my toes. Oh yeah, guys. Hey, a week ago I couldn't touch my toes and now I can touch my toes. How cool is that? Seriously, I fell out of yoga. Yoga's like this thing I fall in and fall out of. And like, screw that. I want to fall into the rabbit hole and like never come back. So yeah. Seriously, guys, five minutes in the morning. That's all you need. Your body will like, shake that shit out. Your body will love you. For real. And yeah, I was just massaging my ankle, giving it a little love. And yeah, I'll take you guys out.
on the night of the town with me. Woohoo! So I'm heading on out to get my girlfriend. We got some rice and veggies for the ride. She's wearing a little sweater. Also, these little finger holes, yeah, I made those. That's why they look kind of ratchet. But honestly, so convenient. Because I was like, oh crap. I knew I forgot something. Do you want to know what? My freaking car keys. All right, not going anywhere yet. That was sad. That was a very sad attempt. But I'm actually very happy that I went back in because I bring clothes that I would like to wear after because I get all sweaty and gross, so. Yay, for going back. Also, this rice needed some more soy sauce, so. Legit worst guest ever. Well, not a guest, but like three people to be a guest. Look, there's all sand in my in the car seat. What is that, a wood chip? Oh my God. Ridiculous. <gasps> all right, let's get on the road. Mm, I'm so mother flipping ready. Fotis. Oh, oh, oh. Mm -hmm. At least I, um, I'm wearing a sweater when I'm driving this time because like last time I was just driving like this. Um, so many people were looking at me. I was just like, holla holla, got these at the dollar dollar store, y'all. That's literally all I thought. Not like, oh my God, I should put them away. I was just like, yeah, I know they're cute. I'd look too, but anyways. God, Jasmine, get off your high horse. <gasps> Cheers, mate. Wait, I'm with my girlfriend. Honestly, it's taking me like a million years to chew each bite. Looks that's good though. I feel like that's good though. I'm actually chewing my food and I'm not just like bum, 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 oh. swallowing it. You know, when I was a kid, I know I shouldn't talk with my mouth like full of food, but I'll cover it. Oh, ratchet nails, ratchet. This one actually broke, like it snapped on me. It really hurt. They're pretty fleeky, you know, like they're long, but. That booty dough. Apparently, grown men, no men in general, or anyone really for that matter, knows what tits are. Oh my god! <gasps> There's some tits out there! Her nipples are covered, but oh my god, how atrocious. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna be honest with you, I had to turn around and come back from us walking there because I was like, I'm fucking hungry right now, and I'm good thing, good thing my girlfriend is literally my soul sister and was like, no, you need to carb the fuck up. If you're hungry already, this ain't gonna go good, so. Be back at the car, just munching some rice, and then we'll go. My phone's about to die, but hopefully I can show you guys someone tonight. Yay! This isn't gonna last for long. Tying your hair with your hair. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, what a freaking angel. This lady, Maddie, was just like, she saw a bunch of hair ties on her wrist, apparently, and she's like, I'm gonna ask for one. She did, and she gave me one. Oh, bless you, you little angel. <laughs> no one understands how severely sweaty I get. It's actually a problem. I almost am concerned with myself, but it's okay. <laughs> I don't do drugs anymore, so I know I won't die. I had an amazing night, don't get me wrong, but I'm such an awful mix of so undercarved right now and so tired that I'm like getting emotional. So I gotta go, I gotta go. It's so bright, but it's so overcast. I'm so confused. I ain't confused about how much love I have with this dope. Mm. Man, you know what makes me really sob though? It's like on my breaks, whenever I see. Girls especially, you know, it goes for girls and guys, but when you see like a beautiful girl, like a beautiful, you know what I mean? Everyone is beautiful, I understand that, but like, when you see these gorgeous young girls smoking cigarettes and they're just like inhaling like so many toxins, like willingly, like they pay for it. And like, I used to be like that too, so I can totally understand it, but it's just, it's so sad. It's so sad to me. It's just like, oh, girl, like, you're so beautiful. You do not need to have that kind of darkness and to death in your life, you know? I used to think, like, fuck what people said. Like, when people would say, oh, you're too pretty to smoke. Like, I'd be like, that meaning is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. And it's like, 
it's not necessarily like oh my god you're way too beautiful to smoke it's like you're way too beautiful to willingly ingest like that much death and suffering because that's what they're going to give themselves down the line you know what i mean and like it's just so sad to see them doing that when they have so much potential and they're just like cutting their days by choice it's like but just a quick recap on the other night it was absolutely amazing i'm going to show you guys a couple clips like what i wore and you know like how the night was i only got a couple clips of like the actual show because my phone was like dead as uh. so yeah but i had an amazing time honestly i definitely definitely recommend like if you are the dd like i am and you go to shows like this that end really late like this one ended at like four o'clock and you're driving late like it's so so important to carb the fuck up so you have energy to be able to do this shit and drive places because i was driving home and honestly I was starting to get so loopy because of how tired and undercarbed I was. It was awful. I've never had it that bad before. I was like dozing off the wheel and stuff like that. It was just, oh my god. I was honestly a little scared for my safety and I felt like so bad because my girlfriend was in the car with me. And yeah, but it was really awesome. We had such a fun time. I came home literally passed out, crashed for like, I don't even know how long. Like this is now, today's Sunday. Yeah, today's Sunday. I worked starting at 7 a.m. So I've been a tired little monkey. You feel me? So yeah, and that was my night. I know it wasn't too like um, crazy of a video. You know what I mean? The quality ain't that great, but hey, stick with me. It'll get better over time, I promise. Actually, remember how I told you my ex-boyfriend would like let me um, let me use his camera and stuff like that yeah so it is literally amazing quality and i cannot wait to use it because then you guys are gonna be like oh my god oh my god <laughs> see how brave it is i'm like what the heck these seagulls doing so yeah that was how my night went i hope your night went amazing and always remember to party safe be smart carve the fuck up so that you can have fun you don't feel like you're withering away like i did like i do usually because I just dance so motherfucking hot. I don't even care what anyone says. I love that music so much, but it really takes it out of you. It really does. It takes a lot of energy to be like bouncing around like a fucking bouncy ball. Oh my god. What the heck is on my ankle? What? How did my hair get on my foot? What? Ugh. Ugh, my neck. Seriously though, like my neck hurts so much. I have never hurt this much from a show. Like usually my neck hurts because like i'm a fucking headbanger like legit i can't help that shit i just love it to like those webs you know what i mean but yeah it really um you pay the price so i'm paying the price right now and honestly I, i've had it where my neck has been so much worse than this but i've never had it where my entire body has felt like this before like it's actually crazy my butt cheeks hurt looking getting down with it you know what i mean like my hips hurt my calves hurt my fucking arms hurt my lower back my everything like oh my god like this like i I have to go so slow. Oh, do you guys want to know something funny? The last event, I put it the last event I went to, I'm just gonna continue doing this because it feels really good. The last event I went to, I'm like this. My neck was so fucked that I got a neck brace after. <laughs> yeah, that's what's up with those webs, yo. You got dedication and you really love the music and you go hard as fuck to it and then you're like, oh my god, I'm literally dying. Uh, and that's what I'm like right now. So I'm going to be doing a ton of stretching tonight. Some really deep stretching. Some yoga on the muscles. You know. Nice time. Giving my body. Giving my body. That love it likes to have. But yeah. So I'm just going to do that. Do a ton of yoga. And then I'm going to have a nice hot bath. Ah, a hot bath. Mmm, that makes me feel good, the sound of that. It's like, what? I can't even see the freaking time. What am I doing? Oh, no, no, no. no, it's like one o'clock probably. I'm off in two and a half hours and I'm going home to sulk the heck out. I'm really glad that it's not uh, crazy nice out because I would almost feel bad for not being outside. But yeah, it's overcast as fuck, so I'm not going to feel bad. <laughs> this work really needs to get done with it. But I have to say I'm grateful for having a job, right? Can't complain, man. Can't come plan. Honestly, I was thinking, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna meditate out here for a little bit, but I'm actually hot as fuck, and I'm sweating a little bit. Didn't put deodorant on today because I could not find it. I forgot. Um, yeah, I used my friends, but it's kind of fading. Oh, look who's back. 
Body back. You want some za?